Hey guys, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about top 5 online photo editors that you can use. Now see, I personally use Photoshop but for majority of like minor editings, I rely on these online tools because you can get so much of work done in so less time. I mean, few clicks here and a few touch-ups there and it's good to go. So well, let's see what are those online tools. My name is Ashish, you are watching Guiding Tech, let's get started. Okay, so starting things off, the very first website on the list is iPicky. Now this website offers over 100 photo effects and advanced editing tools and all of them are absolutely free. You get a normal editor, a collage maker and a design maker. You can also use the auto adjust tool to let the AI do its magic. Or you can use the various tools in the sidebar to adjust the image as per your liking. Apart from that, the design maker tool also allows you to play with various layers, so there is that. The only downside here is that it makes use of Flash, so you'll have to enable it on your browser settings. So moving on, the next one in the list is what I use more often and the name is Be Funky Photo Editor. Now the UI here is modern and it packs in some amazing tools without charging a penny. You can use Be Funky for all your basic and intermediate image editing needs, be it the normal crop or level adjuster or be it applying various filters and effects. There's also a collage maker that you can use to automatically generate collages for you. Now there are some advanced features here as well for you to check out, but then you'll have to pay a premium price if you want to use them. So moving on, and I'll be inviting Varun to talk to you about rest of the few tools because see, I like Photoshop and I use it on a regular basis, but then Varun is not a Photoshop user. And I thought that it will be interesting for you guys to know on how interesting these tools are if you don't know Photoshop. So over to you Varun now. Thanks for that compliment Ashish. So I'm not ashamed to admit it because I don't need to shell out tons of dollars on good image editing software when these online editors can get the job done for me. And in that aspect, my go-to online image editor has to be Pixlr. So I personally prefer to go with Pixlr Express, the service that has been around since forever. Now they've recently moved on to the HTML5 framework and are calling it Pixlr X now. It's simple, efficient, and is basically the same as their mobile app. Now you get all the features for absolutely free and it works really, really well. Now, we can't talk about image editing software without mentioning Adobe. I mean, yes, there is the full-fledged Photoshop, but I'm talking about a more online experience. And even in that aspect, Adobe has not one, but two different online image editors. So the first one is Adobe Spark, which is your basic image editor. Now, when I say basic, I mean like the editing tools you'd find inside the stock gallery app of your Android phone. But hey, sometimes that's all you need and it should get the job done for a lot of you guys. However, if you're looking for something a bit more advanced, then there's the Adobe Photoshop Express for you guys. Yeah, it's available as an online tool and offers the same experience as the standard Photoshop Express, which is well basically a trimmed down version of the full-fledged Photoshop, but all inside your web browser without charging a penny. Pretty dope, no? And well, those are all the online services that I use for image editing. But that's me and Ashish mentioned that there are a total of 5 services. So make sure you watch this video till the very end because well, he told me that he's saving the best for the last. So this next service, hopefully this is the next service if my editor plays this in the right uh, order. But yeah, this next service should be the most advanced and the most preferred image editing software online available for you guys so make sure you watch this video till the end back to you ashish okay so those were some interesting tools but i have saved the best for the last and this one is kind of a photoshop alternative i should say this is photoshop running on your browser so the name of the website is photopy and this one is basically like photoshop on your web browser you get the interface that is pretty much the same as photoshop you have all the tools on the left and the layers on the right hand side. You can even load PSD files onto it and you can also edit raw images. 
if you just want to edit some Photoshop files on the go, this one is super easy to use, especially for the fact that you don't have to download anything. So guys, with that, we come to an end of this video. Also, just to add here, we have already done a video where we have talked about free Photoshop alternatives. So if you are looking for uh, offline tools, which are as powerful as Photoshop, but then you can install them for free, do make sure that you check out the video. I'll be providing you with the links in the description of this one. Now, if you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do hit the subscribe button as well. So well, that's all in this one. And I hope to see you in our next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.